Originally, there was a Bruce side trail that traversed the Ellis property. It's a 58 acre Riverine Valley property. Uh, it's part of an area of natural scientific interest and it's also part of the benchlands of the Niagara Escarpment. And over time, people lost that connection with Balls Falls and Jordan Village. And essentially this Niagara 20 Valley Trail revitalization project is to reestablish that connection. And not only that, but it's going to restabilize failing slopes along 20 Mile Creek and provide a safe access point for people to experience nature. One of the initiatives that the town of Lincoln is taking towards reconciliation is to recognize the very significant indigenous presence on this land. And so we've been working with the Ontario Heritage Trust on connecting Jordan Hollow Indigenous Cultural Park to the museum site, connect that indigenous history to the history that so many in this area are already familiar with. What's becoming really important in the educational field is focusing on place-based education. When students can connect history of a particular area to an experience that they have uh, in a particular location, it resonates more with them. It stays in their memory. And this is really important when it comes to uh, educating uh, youth and, and the public in general around indigenous, the indigenous experience and indigenous history. The Trust has worked with the Niagara Peninsula Conservation Authority, the Town of Lincoln, and the Bruce Trail Conservancy to really look at this trail and reestablish this trail. With their generous support of the Greenbelt Foundation, we were able to provide uh, a feasibility study to plan out this trail system. With that, we're ready to move on to the next phase of the project, which would be implementation and permitting. And the Ontario Heritage Trust can't complete projects like this without the generous support of our partners.